this wheel here has no support. So on my last trip, my luggage wheels broke. And I was thinking, well, I'll just buy new luggage and then I'm too cheap for that. And also I have a trip in a few days and I don't have time for that. So I'm gonna try to fix it. This wheel here has no support. Yeah, so this is cracked. You can see, I don't know if you can see that, but along here there's a crack. So I'm just gonna try to put Bondo all over this and hope it stays. Yeah, so another thing, this looks goofy because uh, it was actually dented in all the way. So yesterday I got my heat gun, heated it up, popped it out. I may even do some Bondo to reinforce this. Haven't decided yet. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so I'm gonna be honest. I haven't used Bondo in like over 10 years. I really don't know what I'm doing. So I actually got some, I got some fiberglass mesh. I'm thinking I might just cut it up into bits and pieces and mix it in with the Bondo just to get it. For one, I think it might make it stronger, but mostly I want to do it so if the Bondo breaks, then it's not gonna get everywhere because it will be connected with this mesh. I think you can buy Bondo with like fiberglass in it, but it costs like way more money and that's cheap. So let's not do that. So I've got this basically ready. Got the crack here, that's the main thing I need to fix. And also this crack, ooh, looks like I need to sand a little bit better. I'll sand it a little bit more. I've taped, taped this back so it's out of the way, clip this back so it's out of the way. Got this little table, I'm gonna mix the Bondo on here. Got fiberglass mesh, I'm gonna just kinda break that into it and mix the Bondo up. Got my sweet Bondo brand tool. I wish it was a bit more pliable. So I'm gonna use that to scrape everything. And then, got wax paper. I'm gonna try to just push it down. Just push it down to make it smooth. We'll see how I do. Okay, so a couple of things that I learned in the process. For one, putting a bag on the box was dumb. That didn't help at all. It made things more difficult. I'm gonna take the bag off and just do it on a cardboard since I don't have a good mixing plate. The other thing I learned was the fiberglass mesh mixed in really well. Like, Perhaps too well. I feel like I did maybe too much. We'll find out when this dries. Um, that part's really good. Nice and solid. Let's see. Did I get the wheel? Oh yeah. Okay, definitely can't move that. Huh. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Came through on the other side. That's legit, right there, boom, Bondo. Well, 
cool beans. It looks like the wheel with Bondo is in fact the strongest wheel so far on the luggage. You know, that's just a short test though, so who knows how it will actually do traveling. Kind of debating if I want to do all of the wheels. I might just go ahead and do that because I'm actually pretty happy with how this one turned out. And then we're going to take this thing to the Philippines. See how it does going all the way across the world. So my luggage has made it successfully to the Philippines. We have arrived. Um, it's a big typhoon yesterday, so lots of rain and fog, uh, but that's cool. So just as a recap, this survived a car ride to the airport, three planes, a taxi, a bus, and another taxi just to get here so obviously that's not a full indication of how well it did but it seemed to be just as good as how I left it so you can see here no damage looks like there's a few specks of stuff here this hole I actually pressed down myself before we left um, you can kind of see this is just from the bag when I pulled, or the, this is from the wax paper when I pulled it out. But the wheel itself held up. That one's just as ugly as ever, but that one held up just fine. And awesome, nothing wrong there. Just as a follow up, I've returned from the Philippines. I am back at home now and my luggage is just the same and as good as when I left for the Philippines. So it held up perfectly. I will note that my wife's luggage and mine is the same unit and mine was way easier to lug around because I had reinforced the wheels with the Bondo. It made it a lot more sturdy and just pushing it and rolling it around was easy with my wife's. The more weight it kind of pushed the wheels out so it just would not drag around as well. I'm really happy that things turned out more or less the way I expected or thought they might. Really the only thing I would have changed about how I had done things is I wouldn't have focused so much on trying to make the bundle look good. I mean you can't see it anyway and uh, when I pulled the wax paper some of it stuck to it so it kind of made an air pocket on one or two of the corners um, so it wasn't quite as strong as it probably could have been. If I were to go back and do it again, I, I'd pull it out a little bit, but not so much so I don't make that air pocket. 
And you can definitely do this for under $10. You can buy a can of Bondo at Walmart for $8. Uh, the things I show in this video, you know, I'm using a bigger can of Bondo and I use fiberglass mesh and gloves and everything. I'll post the links to everything I use in the description below, but really you can do it for super cheap if you want to. I hope this video helped. Uh, I'm kind of curious if any of you have ever fixed luggage before. And if you have, how did you do it and how well did it work? Go ahead and post a comment below and share your experience.